Hello and welcome back to Prep Bites. Okay, so um, in this video, we're going to go in and basically just see how exactly are we to go in and integrate all of these additional routes that we have created into our front end, right? So, uh, so far, uh, we've only went in and taken care for uh, the login and the register routes. So uh, we're going to go in and see, okay, how exactly, where exactly are we supposed to go in and use the fetch users and all of the chart routes, these bunch of chart routes that we had created out. Okay. So um, starting on with the very first one, I'm going to start with fetch users component, uh, the fetch users route. So this particular route is main, the, the main purpose of creating this route was to go in and provide a list of all the online users who have registered for this particular application of ours, right? So um if i directly just take you through uh to my front end over here so this is my front end which is the client uh lights client that we had created and the thing here is i kind of want to go in and display all of the users all of the online users within this uh component okay so it's it's fairly simple this is just a it's just going to show in a whole list all together and what it does is it goes in and uh, the moment this component loads, okay, so the moment this particular user's component loads, as you can see, I'm going in and making a get request onto this uh, route that we had created, which was the fetch users uh, route. And what this does is it goes in and just returns me the list of all the users that uh, have currently registered within our application. Okay, so there's a bunch of, uh, so let's say there are like 10 users who are already registered altogether, the list of all those 10 users uh, excluding yourself will be shown up within this component. Okay. So this is the main per use case of this particular route that we had created. And, uh, wh what I've done is I fetched in the information from this particular, uh, route and, uh, stored it inside of this state variable called as users. And as it's an array, I'm just going to go in and use the map function over here in order to iterate through each and every other user and get them displayed on that particular component. Now, the reason why I want to do that is because this is kind of the part where I'll be able to go in and initiate a chat with another person. So I want to go in and initiate a one-to-one -one chat, right? So if I want to initiate a one-to-one -one chat, I need to know all the people with whom I can initiate that chat with. So that's the whole purpose of this particular component. This users component, as you can see, is going to have access to all the users who are currently part of the application database, right? And um, it's going to be represented down inside of this list of mine. And by clicking on any of these links, any of these users, what I want to do is I want to go in and instantiate a new chat with that person, right? And if you recall, we already have created one such route that can help us to do so, which is nothing but this access chat route, as you can see. So what this access chat route is going to help me to do is that it will go in and help me to create that one-to-one -one chat with that particular person. So let's say if I am user one, I will go in and see user two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so more. So by clicking on any of those particular user, I want to go in and create or instantiate a new chat with that person, right? So we already created this particular uh, route for that particular for that purpose, and that's what I have managed to go in and do here. So as you can see, uh, this is going to be the part where the user's name and icon and all of these additional things are going to go in and get displayed. Now, all in all, that is fairly good. But now the thing over here is if you look into this particular div, so I've used frame motion over here. That's why it's written as motion to div, but it's just in another normal div, but imported from another library. So one of the things you'll notice is on click of this particular, um, you know, uh, div that I have, which will be the list of all of the users. I'll be able to go in and make, a you know, a post request to this particular route of mine. And this is the same exact route that we had created up in our backend so as to go in and access up a new chat. Okay. So as you can see, it's a post request over here and that's the same exact thing that I'm doing and I'm passing in the user ID so that I can go in and create a new chat with that person. So this is kind of going to be responsible to instantiate that one-to-one -one chat with another user. Okay. So all out together, I would say that we've uh, so far within this users component itself, we've managed to go in and utilize two of our routes already. 
okay so uh we've went in and we utilized let me just go in and say yeah so we've already used the fetch users component uh the the fetch users route as well as the access chart route okay so the fetch users route will return all the users if you click on any of the users it will go in and invoke the access chart routes which will create a one-to-one -one chart between us and the other person okay now once that is done um what do i want to do i want to be able to go in and see all the previous charts that i have been a part of okay and that's what this fetch charts route is there for what this route is going to be helping us to do is to fetch all the chats of the uh, of the current user okay so if i'm the current user i need to go in and get all of the charts that i have been a part of be it one-to-one -one charts or be it group charts i want to go in and get access to all of them and the thing over here is i i will be requiring all of this information to be displayed out within my sidebar because my sidebar is what will help me to go in and uh, you know, access any of these charts that I've been a part of, right? So, uh, in order to go in and show you the same, I'm just going to go in and search for my sidebar component, which I hopefully guess is over here. There we go. Yeah, this is my sidebar component, as you can see. And within the sidebar component, uh, you would be able to go and notice there is a use effect going on over here. And this use effect actually goes in and makes this particular get request uh, to localhost 8080 slash chat. So right now it's for my local server, but uh, if you're gonna go in and deploy it on any uh, of these online free hosting services, you will have to go in and just make sure you are replacing the links uh, that we are giving out over here. Okay, so uh, this over here, this uh, localhost 8080 ch uh, slash chat, now get request to the chat route, okay, is gonna go in and trigger our fetch chats uh, controller, okay? And what this is gonna do is pretty straightforward. It's gonna go in and give me all the set of conversations, every single conversation that I have been part of. It's gonna give me uh, back an object which will contain uh, the list of all of the chats that have been part of. And what I'm doing is I'm using a state variable over here, call us conversations and storing them up within that particular variable. Now, all the conversations, all the chats that I've been a part of, I'm gonna be getting it back as an array. And in order for me to go in and traverse through that array, um, I am just gonna use the same thing again. We're gonna use a map function over here. Let me just scroll down and you'd be able to notice this here. There you go. So this is the conversations container that I have. And within this, I'm just iterating over this state variable called as conversations. It's nothing but an array. And I'll be going in and fetching each conversation, each chat from that array. So I'm going to have an array of chats, an array of conversations. I'm going to fetch each chat or each conversation and basically check whether if it is a group chat or a one-to-one -one chat. Now, how exactly do I go in and do that? Fairly simple. Uh, the good thing here is we, when we were going in and uh, creating in our chat model or schema, we did manage to go in. Okay, wait a second. Yeah, we did manage to go in and add in this additional property called as this group chat so that we can figure out whether it is a group chat or not. Okay, because uh, on depending on that particular aspect, we will be able to go in and figure out whether uh, the name that we need to go in and display should be that of the chat or should be that of the other person in a one-to-one -one display, right? In a one-to-one -one chat. So uh, that's one of the things that we've done over here. Uh, this is a really simple check that's going on. Uh, if it is a group chat, then we're gonna set it uh, name to the chat name. Else, if that is not the case, then I'm gonna iterate over the user's array and see, so I'll, I'll know. So if I'm the current user, I'm going to go in and see, okay, if my user ID is definitely going to be there in the users array. Okay, users is an array which contains all of the users part of the chat. So I'm just going to iterate over that. And if there, I, I just want to go in and see which is the user ID that is not me. So that's what I'm doing over here. And I'm setting the name of the other user as the chat name. Okay, so the reason why we've done over this, why we've done this over here is so that we can instantiate that particular chat of ours. Okay. Now, once all of these are gonna go in and get displayed out, one more additional conversation, one more additional con condition that we've checked is whether the latest message is defined or not, 
okay we could have done this in the back end but um i just took in the liberty and did it in the front end itself so if there is no latest message then i'm just going to go in and give it in a starting message saying that no previous messages click here to start a new chat if there is a previous message then i'm going to go in and show the content of the previous message the latest message okay now this kind of comes in uh back with the same idea on why exactly the latest message thing we need we needed that right so there's a latest message we're going to go in and show it up else we'll give in a small uh, static text over there saying that no previous messages click here to go in and start a new chat okay now uh moving on uh what this is going to do is it's going to go in and list out all of the conversations within our sidebar now what we want to do is if i click on any of these conversations I want to be able to access those conversations within my chat area. Okay, I want to go in and access all of those conversations within my chat area, right? So in order to go in and do so, uh, you can see I'm again going in and using this navigate. Uh, I'm using the use navigate hook to do a bit of navigation here. Okay, so I have my use navigate right over here. what it does is it goes in and gives me access to a function you can give that function any name i'm giving the name over here as navigate you can give it any name as you want and by providing it with the uh, the path to which it needs to navigate your or to route your website to so it's going to change the url right so it's going to be in this manner okay it's going to be chat slash conversation id and then i'm providing both of them because i'm going to be fetching the information by using a really particular hook which is called as use params okay so the reason here is so is that i'm going to be doing a bit of dynamic routing here and the idea is that let me just show you how the dynamic routing goes in and takes place so if i take you into my app.js where all of my routes are set up one of the things you notice is uh, the chat area component goes in and loads up for this specific dynamic route similar to how you would see in with the back end we had seen the same scenario in back end as well i i've used a dynamic segment here and the advantage is that regardless of whatever follows up after a chat slash uh, it is going to go in and render the chat area component now the good thing here is with this information okay so i'm going to have these sort of information made available over here which is the conversation id and the chat name and i'm just concatenating both of them using an ampersand so that the user the information will be there at the top of the uh, in, the, in the url itself it will be embedded into the url so i'm going to fetch in the information from there and there itself and it will be also convenient for the user to know with whom exactly are they having the conversation to conversation with right so i'm providing both of them here and it will go in and get it navigated out all right now <clears throat> moving back okay so wh what other routes do we have access to right now so uh, fetch chats is one of the components that we do have that we have just discussed uh, we have create group chat which is again uh, a component that we are going to be going in and utilizing within the create groups component okay which is fairly simple to go in and do i've added in an additional dialog box over here which just goes in and asks you whether you really really want to go in and create a group okay as i thought you know why not okay so i just added that in but apart from that you know this is the main part this is this function over here this create group function is what actually goes in and creates up the group okay so as you can see i'm making a post request to our route that we had created which is called create uh, group i'm providing it with these specific set of information over here i'm providing it with the group name and then again i think we'll have to go in and change this up okay so i'll have to change up so this is for the time being this is a, a static set of values but all in together we'll be we can go in and change it up uh, later up ahead okay and then um post that we are using this uh nav function over here in order to go in and uh navigate or basically send the user uh to the groups component and show them the group that they have created okay so this kind of goes in and takes care of that aspect as well now if i take you to the groups component this is one of these components where again where we are utilizing the fetch groups uh route that we had created so that we can go in and then just display out all of the groups using another map function so the fetch groups uh, uh request method this particular controller is going to go in and give me back an array of groups and all of those groups i'm just going to iterate over using a map function and then just get them displayed 
on my uh, on my web page okay on on to that groups component now once this is done uh, you know you can click on any of those groups now one of the thing that we are going to be doing in here is that by clicking on any of these groups we are going to invoke the add self to group component uh, route that we had created so i'm going to display all of the groups over here sure i'm going to get all the information by using the fetch groups controller but if i click on any of the groups i want to get added to that group so if you're already part of the group no issues whatsoever but if you want to go in and get uh you know if you're not part of the group and you want to get yourself added you can click on it and you will get created you will get added in that group all courtesy of this newly created route that we have just created okay now once this is done you know uh, we'll be able to go in and uh, you know uh, we we would have um you know we can go in and have one additional route which is remaining which is the group exit route which is something we will be going in and integrating into our chat area component okay so that's something we are going to go in and discuss up in the next video but all in together we the, these are kind of the main functionalities that these chat routes that we created are going to provide us with okay so uh, we seen how so these are the routes that we already uh, seen uh, how exactly we're going to be integrating them so access chat access chats is all good to go fetch chats not to go in and fetch all the chats of the current user fetch groups because we want to go in and display all the groups that the person can join to create group chat you can create and add self to group okay so the other set of uh, uh, you know routes or controllers that we created these will come in handy when we're going to go in and play around with our chat area container okay so that's kind of the place where all the messages need to be fetched all the messages need to be sent as well as giving the functionality for so that the person can go in and exit from the group as well okay he's not exactly going to yeah he's going to exit from the group the group will not go in and get deleted he'll just exit the person can will just go in and get exited from the group okay so that and all is uh, you know i'll say uh, the main integration that we're going to be doing with that we have done with these specific set of routes and uh, once this is go once this goes through like once we've uh you know see the integration of the message routes as well i'll take you through on how exactly all of this combined together and what can experience to we get uh with our chat application okay so that would be all for this particular video i'll see you in the next one guys <laughs>